relatively new team, I think, to cause a seven. Insanity can hold, maybe compromise Norbert a little bit in the corners here. He can do that as he tries going around the outside, saving himself on the inside, but he, he pulls back a little bit. And if he can hold a two wine going into the first corner of the race, I think he'll have a better run going into turn two. Hello and welcome to Season 1, Round 2 of the LSEM 100. I'm Kian Butler, and I'm joined today by my co-host, LSEM Boost. Hey y'all, what up? How's it going, everybody? I think it's going quite well. We've got a great field going on today. We've got, I think, 16 drivers so far. Yeah, we've got so, a turnout right now. Exactly. So, we have... Quite the battle today. We have we have a great field. We have LSCM, MNR, TUS, and AMS, along with a lot of independent drivers and NKRT and SSR, mind you. And we have a points pool that's going to be really interesting to look at. So, because if we're looking at the points, if we are in fact looking at the points. What we see is that because we've merged the two lobbies together, we have a couple of different points from what might have been seen at the end of last week's race. So, our points for going into this race, we have AMS GG Racing in first place with 11, uh, SSR Marky in uh, tied first place with 11th, um, Lagalot in third with 9, Aerofrin in TOS Extreme in fourth with 8, Denzel and JSR John in 6th with 7th, Ace in 8th with 6, Honey Badger in 9th with 5, Oz with 4 and 10th, Big Man in 11th in with 3 plays, three points, sorry, uh, Beast Shadows in tied 11th with 3 points also, Newton with 2, 40 Bread with 1, and well, what that means is that we're going to have a good points battle today. Remember, the points system that we have running for the LSC 100 you get one point for the fastest lap in qualifying, one point for the fastest lap in the race, and you get a linear point scale for your positioning in the race. So you come first, you get 10 points, you come second, you get 9 points, you come third, you get 8 points, so on and so forth. So, today's race, we're going to have to see TOS Extreme really pull one out of his hat to beat GG Racing lag a lot and try and secure the points that he can get to get back in this championship going towards the Spa round. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> so no, but this we is have... gonna be a blast to watch. Yeah, definitely. We've got a good field of drivers today, and you know it should be really good to watch. We're gonna run for our driver list quickly. We have uh, LSEM lag a lot, forty bread, MNR Ace, MNR Hunter, TUS Extreme, Beast Shadows from the EU lobby. Uh, LSEM too quick. Actually, did I mention Beast Shadows in in the points? I don't know if I did yeah. there. Yeah, you did. Did I? Tied okay. for 11th, if I remember correctly. Okay, okay good. LSEM too quick. AMS GG Racing. Uh, good. <laughs> Jeff Newton, GJ Newton. Uh, good job. <laughs> um, LSEM Norbert. <laughs> NKRT Nemesis. SSR Honey Badger. LSEM Oz. Aerothrin. LCM Foxhound, and Jagged SGT. So some new faces in there as well. Serious mm -hmm. contenders in there. 
no zombie today as uh, we were informed that he might be yelled at if he doesn't get out of his room and get ready to go to <laughs> his mother's birthday. So that's hey. that. <laughs> you know, family first. Um, family first. Like, honestly, you know, you, you get... Apparently, we're not uh, good if enough I could family. Just, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay, there. If I could make one comment, though, just one quick one. For the longest time, I thought G.J. Newton was J.G. Newton. And only now <laughs> have I noticed that it's the other way around. And my life <laughs> is a lie. <clears throat> oh, man. So we're just waiting for Jagged and Oz now. We need to make sure that everyone's in the same cars as they were last week. And I think that's the case. Lagalot in the Porsche. Fred in the Bentley. Ace in the BMW M3. Hunter in the M8. Extreme in the Jaguar. B Shadows in the Jaguar, Too Quick in the Jaguar, GG Racing in the Bentley, Newton in the M6, Norbert in the M3, Nemesis in the Baron 9, uh, Badger in the Jaguar, Oz in the TT, Aerofriend in the Jaguar, and that's all the individuals for all of the drivers. Now, we are ready for qualifying for all the rounds. So, qualifying, we have five laps in Suzuka. Was GT always off? Just make sure everything's good. We are good to go for the LSEM 100 qualifier for Series 1 Round 2. Here we go. We're going to transition over to our in game screen as soon as we are ready. I got pizza. Apologies there, I, uh, <laughs> I forgot to click the spectate button, and I joined the race instead, but no, we are spectating now, beautiful day here at Suzuka, <laughs> the field has yeah. taken its positions as they would like to, and we're on the qualifying run. So, right at the, off the back, we have Moon up in front for qualifying, Norbit in second, and it's all just kind of all over the place. We're gonna go ride on board. Yeah. Fox Sound, one of the new people to this uh, to the series today. With Jagged, one of his friends, one of his the other new people just ahead of him. I forgot him to go to Do Not Disturb, so we're gonna do that real quick. There we go. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, we see the, the wonderful self-made Wayland Corp alien-themed Audi TT. LCM Fox Sound, quite, quite a good livery, I'd say. And that TT is going to be strong around here. It's going to be strong around um, Spa next week. So it'll be good to see how these guys end up. We're going to look at the cars of today. We have the Audi TT of Fox Sound, front wheel drive. Um, that TT is being shared by LCM Oz. Front wheel drive. Uh, front wheel drive. Front -wheel the, uh, the TT. The TT. Gang, um, we have the Porsches of today. Oh, I think only one Porsche today. Lag a lot, sporting the, the LCM livery that was made for him. Um, I wonder who made that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going over now to uh, Hunter, who's running the M8. The only one in the M8. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> session after this for respects for the the injury I'm gonna say that has wow. just occurred <laughs> well no matter hey slap you a qualifying now oh, I'm glad I <laughs> put that on stream um, <laughs> just... that's gonna be in the highlights that is I don't care it's gonna be in the highlights <laughs> Oh my uh, god. We also Grish. have the G Bentley of GG Racing, the only person with Bentley today. Uh, AMS GG Racing, using the paint from the uh, Online Racing Association's British GT series. Quite a nice paint. 
pretty stock standard AMS stuff right there, and uh, we'll be good to see what he can pull out of the hat around Suzuka today, and see if he can keep up mm -hmm. with um, with Extreme, who I think has a better package overall on his car. Uh, the other driver better in the package. Today, better package. The other driver in the Bentley today <laughs> is uh, 40 Bread, 378 zero. Uh, in the livery that we've seen so many times, that we have had the opportunity to enjoy so many times. It's really a it nice livery. Really nice. Uh, That's one thing I like, really do like a lot of these events is just seeing the paint jobs and the creativity of painters, you know, do their thing. Yeah. And, uh, it's some nice art. Speaking of paint jobs and creativity, we're going to go to, to Newton now, sporting a very creative paint job on his BMW M6. Uh, love the work that's gone into it. Uh, <laughs> I can't find where anyone is because the positions are spaghetti. <laughs> uh, we have we have this pack up here with two quick Norbert, GG Racing, Newton, and Aerofren. The first one's across the line over to lap two. Let's see how we are going. Have a look at the focus. Newton is in fifth right now. Norbert with a 203, six. Foxhound with a 205, one. We need to change the ticker at the top of the screen to something that shows us the information that we want to see at the top of the screen, but it looks like we have <laughs> Extreme in first place so far. Let's look at the lap time that's gone through so far. We're getting some 206s back there. Lag a lot with 2019. We're starting off a dirty pack. The pack from 11th down <laughs> has not managed a clean lap so far. Extreme with a 202 flat. GG Racing with 202 six. It's going to be interesting to see where Lagalot can actually uh, get his car running today. Um, I think the Porsche is going to be really strong around here, and he's going to have to make it work for next weekend. I think the Jaguar will be slightly better around Spa, or at least easier to drive. Uh, but we're going to continue yeah, our, our run to the field. Fast. So fast. Um, we got MNR Ace in the BMW M3. Um, oh, I like what I'm looking at here. It's very nice Ooh, that's paint job, cool. broke energy. Oh, it's <laughs> really um, cool. <laughs> the other driver, um, the other driver in the M3 today is LCM Norbert, uh, sporting the uh, T-Mobile LCM livery made by himself. Very nice livery, simple but elegant. Uh, <laughs> looking mm -hmm. around. Who else do we have? We've lost the driver though. We've lost uh, NKRT Nemesis. So we'll oh. see if he has just lagged out for uh, qualifying or if he's not going to make the race itself. But we have Jagged in the Chevy C7R. I Maybe not with the um, being the second race in, but the C7R was a car that I was looking at doing the EU Championship in because it's probably going to be one of the more versatile cars in the ability to change it from a grip car on, on tracks where it's needed to a power car on tracks where it's needed, really allowing the driver to uh, set himself up. And Lagalot's up in the second position as he crosses the line. I'm not sure what time he did there, but we're going to ride on board with him for a little bit as I think oh, that's about all the cars. That two or two dead from Lagalot. Two or two, two, two dead. dead. Not alive. Not alive. Uh, <laughs> So, <laughs> 202 flat. You like that? You like that? So, I'm not sure what's going on. No, okay, yeah. So, he's run a 202.042. Only two hundredths of a second behind TUS Extreme so far. GG Racing having some trouble with his car. Maybe trying to maximize that pace. Only managed a 2026 so far. Interesting one to look He's at. He's reserving his energy for the race. Drivers this that isn't have even not his managed. Drivers that have not managed to get themselves set up yet for a clean lap include MNR Ace. I think Jagged. The other drivers Ace. Topic of a stewards report from last week. A very aggressive move on Too Quick into the first right-hander to the long left-hander straight on Hockenheim has resulted in him starting with a three-position grid penalty from his qualifying position. So, 
he needs to get as good as a qualifying as he can today to try and minimize that penalty and try and make a comeback along the field. Um, he hasn't managed that yet, though. We're going to ride on board with him for a little bit to see what he can do. So, as he comes through the Casio Triangle chicane at the end, Ace that's is what now... That's called? The Casio Triangle, that's what it's Casio called. Triangle. <laughs> Casio Isn't Triangle. Is it Casio a brand that makes... Calculators. Or keyboards? Calc... <laughs> <laughs> By about 13 miles! <laughs> they do Wait, make, they they do make keyboards? keyboards as well, yeah. They do. <laughs> I knew it, I'm not a dummy, I promise. Um, this broadcast is not sponsored by Casio. Casio... It is now. If you want, gonna if you, want you can go out and, and buy a Casio Mousepad uh, programmable calculator that is not allowed to be used in certain <laughs> testing environments because you can play Mario on them. Uh... Wait, really? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's the bee's knees. <laughs> I need that. So we're going to ride on board with Ace right now. He's putting down good times. 2-0-2-3. He's just not managed to clean one yet. It's going to be interesting to see if, if he can I manage could, uh, that um, for this race. Just say, though, I think I just saw up on the thing that a laggy lot ran a 2-0-1.700. I think I just caught that in the corner of my eye. That's pretty quick, man. That's it is, like... but it's not clean. Oh, it isn't? It's not clean, which is why we still have oh. T-Wizzle Stream in first place with the 2019. Just a 10 gotcha. off of Lagolot now. Lagolot's going to be pushing hard to try and get that happening in the last lap. We're going to ride on board. Lagolot is actually just behind, so we're going to stay on board with uh, MNR Ace, Midnight Racing Association's Ace. Uh, we're going to go back to the replay cameras. And we're going to see if he opened over the tire barrier. Lap. All right. No yeah. one's the tire barrier going through that. That's nothing. Nothing spectacular. Uh. Nothing spectacular so far. Um, in terms of that crash, we're going to see where they finish off across the line. Uh. B Shadows is up in the fifth Ooh. place. Aces okay, okay. not managed to clean time. Press pay your specs in the chat, boys. I don't know how, <laughs> but his best lap time is up not being 10 minutes and 31 seconds. Um, 10 minutes, oh my, <laughs> that's number one around here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh... Dage just drove around a track. I can confirm. Hunter is, has not managed to clean lap either. I don't think. He's still running um, his last lap. We'll he's see if he can manage it here. I uh, really like the paint job on his car. The, oh, and I can't see anymore because. I don't know where he's finished because the qualifying session just ended. has finished. So we're going to go back to our, uh, our lovely waiting screen we have going on. As we try and figure out our grid order for today, uh, Hunter in the end managed a 203.1 clean. So we're going to have to write down or take a photo of these times real quick and organize our grid order for the race itself. Uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to grab a bite of pizza. No worries. And while he's grabbing a bite of pizza, we're going to have a look at some other great Forza series that are going on in the Forza community with this little ad break. So, we'll be back in one minute. This is the LSC 100. Stay tuned. Man.
go. Series one, race one, underway. Oh, and we have we have contact. And our hunter off the track. The zombie gut kill. He's made up from 16th all the way up to the 10th. It's Eric Ener Brent. Looking to defend off SVR Transmo through the hairpin. He manages to do it. Transmo squeezed around the inside. The outside line gets a better run there. And Aeroprint managing to hold on. Second position. We'd love to see the battle between GG Race and GTS Extreme. Fortunately, it didn't materialize. And Ford really just capitalized on the pace in the race. And Big Man, a little bit deep, almost gets into Zombie. And who's that? That's Hunter. Hunter getting to run, bumping Zombie a little bit wide. Hunter! Ooh, he's gonna hold it. You see this lost sector being really hard to pass on. Um, but Newton might try it anyway, as he goes too wide. No, he's made the pass before the corner. Make sure that he doesn't cause issues as another problem now. Hunter. Chasmo getting locked up in the traffic. This is like Denzel catch back up trying to capture that fourth place position. As no doubt Chasmo has lost time to play the rest of the pack. You have Hunter now. Free wine. Hunter getting spun again. As a two wine through the hairpin. Under the Xbox sign, Denzel looking for the run. He's up the inside. It's being a close one as Chasmo. Maintains the position now. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. The only problem is that it just it's just time that you don't need to be losing stuck in these battles. Coming to Suzuka, I, I'm I'm really quietly confident because it looks like a lot of people have gone for this approach in, in that championship lead as against the lag a lot, who's probably the better overall round of party with higher things. Wait, we are finishing the race. We have mile 100. Did you race it? All right, so we have the lobby set up. We're just waiting for, I think they're splitting the parties now, and we're waiting for TOS Extreme, who's just reconnecting to make sure he doesn't have any issues. Your predictions for today's race boost? I've made a mistake. I apologize horribly. Um, I've pressed the wrong button, and as such, you were getting a bit of audio from my desktop microphone instead of my actual microphone, and you were not hearing boost either. So, boost. We'll go back to your predictions there for a second. Okay. What, 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 All right, what are this they? is super important. <laughs> All right. This is the grace. All right. Y'all were able to hear it then, but you'll be able to hear it now. I predict that TOS Extreme, he's going to do pretty well this race. He's going to finish like the top 16th, I'd imagine at least, because, you know, there's 16 drivers. And, um, yeah, that, that's that's those are my words of wisdom. I mean, I don't know, man. I think he's going to finish 17th, but we'll find out. Um, you never know. A surprise you driver never know. will show up and just dethrone him so hard that his car's engine just explodes spectacularly and he has to withdraw from the race. You know, we there could always be a uh, opportunity to uh, for a new challenger approach. Um, however, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are going to uh, take another little short air break as we wait because we don't have much to say. I don't know what to do right now. Actually, um, wait, no. I got something better than an ad break.
All right. got something better I'm going to go to Google, and we're going to go, go to look Google. up some fun facts. All fun right. facts. So, so... <laughs> fun Don't facts. Worry. Fun this facts are fun. The best content. All right. All right. I got you. <laughs> Today. Okay. There are about. You ready for this? Good. 1.5 billion cows in the world. 1.5 wow. billion. Let that sink in. That's like the population of China. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. yep. I got ooh, some more. I, I got some more for you. Okay. Oh, what do you got? What I was going to talk about a bit of Forza news that I've just been reminded of. Looking up some oh, Forza fun more facts. Porn. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we have the Lamar Esports series going on right now. Uh, next round. Um. Can it? Hmm. Let's see. Um. If the party splits, then sure. It might have another M3 running today. MNR Edwin. Um. Another one. Another one bites dust. But we have. <laughs> okay, so we we have um. Yeah, so, the Lamar Esports series is a series run by the FIA, uh, who, for those of you who don't know, uh, run Formula One, the World Endurance Championship, etc., etc. And it's pretty much the main esports competition right now, apart from the Forza RC, which is actually on break, so I guess it is the main esports competition right now. Um, some interesting news has arisen recently, though. There's the possibility that the G2 team... First off, JSR Azic, as I understand it, is going to G2. Um, so he'll be changing teams. G2, for those of you who don't know, is a team that's run by Fernando Alonso. Um, Wait, what? And yeah, yeah. And that really? team is actually. What? Well, there's a couple of there's a couple of teams that do stuff like that. So you have the. G2 team by Fernando Alonso, and you have um, the Team Redline Racing, which, as far as I'm aware, Max Verstappen is actually a part of. Uh, so, some interesting stuff going on there. But, 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 but um, as I understand as well, the G2 team is actually being bought out by Red Bull Racing to make the Red Bull Racing Forza Esports team. So, for anyone who wants a bit of an interesting fact, if you go on the Lamar Esports website and try and find the Red Bull Racing team or the G2 team, you won't find it. Instead, they'll be labeled on the Red Baguette Basing, sorry, Red Baguette Racing because they have not officially made the transaction yet. Red Baguette. Red Baguette. Red Baguette. Holy crap. Red Baguette. That's the one. Red Baguette. Red but Baguette. But also, you were talking about another one bites the dust before. I got this. Red Baguette. Right. Another one bites the dust. I said a hip hop, a hip, a hip to the hip, hip hop. You don't stop a rocket to the bang bang boogie. So you jump the boogie of the rhythm, the groove, and the beat. So my dad wants me to take my dogs out. Is there time for that? Can I do that while this is starting? So if you'd like to, you can take, you can go take the dogs out. If it's going to be about a twenty minute walk or so. And I it won't be twenty minute walk. I'll okay. be back. I'll be back. And I will handle, but that means we won't have the hype machine for a little while. So we're just waiting for T was extreme to join back now. Um, the party's been split. Edwin was thinking about racing. Apparently, it hasn't happened. Uh, we're gonna take the opportunity to have a nice little other word from our sponsors and uh, have a gander at our sponsor LSEM, who is team that I run, so it's not really a sponsor. It's just, yeah. Here's the LSEM trailer in our little ad break. A relatively new team at Victor Forza 7. They're rolling out the red card for themselves here. Light speed endurance motorsports. I can't wait to see with a couple of months of practice what these guys are going to be able to do. When you want to live, then life is 
holds you straight there. And he's holding it all into the inside through the bus stop. Will he have the speed coming out of it? The butler able to hold on to third for at least for him. Butler and Buku, LSEM, first and second position. We've got a line of two that's going to be in seven to the inside of, uh, with Slaps Vella looking to the outside here in seven. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are ready for the round two Suzuka round of the LSEM 100. We have our grid order set. We should be doing a formation lap, which we are. Let's get this map out of the way so we can have a look at this grid as it rolls past the cameras and have a look down the field. We have the TOS Extreme in first place scoring one point for the fastest lap in qualifying. LSEM lag a lot in second place at number 38 LSEM car. Uh, Porsche, Aerofriend in third place. AMS GG Racing in fourth place. The Bentley, last week's race winner, uh, going up against some stiff competition this week as Bentley might be not the best car around this track and next week's track. So he's gonna be trying to make sure that he can maintain as many positions as he can to try and maintain that championship lead that he accrued in the first race. Going back to fifth place, one of our drivers from the EU lobby has been merged, Beast Shadows, driving for about a year now. Beast Shadows, quite the driver, quite well developing. Look at that field, isn't that beautiful? LCM too quick back in sixth in the Jaguar. Uh, same Jago as always. SSR Honey Badger in seventh. MNR Hunter in eighth in the BMW M8. LSEM Norbert in ninth place with the BMW M3. GJ Newton in tenth place in the BMW M6. LSEM Oz in eleventh in the Audi TT. LSEM Foxhound in fourth place in the Audi TT as well. So the TT is qualifying back to back. 40 bread in 13th place. Uh, Jagged GSD in 14th place with uh, his Corvette C7R. Uh, NKRT Nemesis in 15th place in the BMW M8, the second M8 on the field. And MNR Ace dropping back to 16th place with his grid penalties. I think we have M. Uh, sorry, I was going to say MNR. LCM boost back with us now. Um, nope, I'm on MSP. Sorry, guys. Oh, man. That's a, that's a real shame. <laughs> I'm back. So I'm in time uh, for the pit lap. Nice. You are in time for the pit lap. Although, 
black screening. Oh, yeah. I think there must have been some sort of disconnect, judging by the amount of Forza symbols going on. So, uh, yep. Yep, we're getting a call from yep. Race Control. Hello. Well, while he's taking care of that phone call, um, this race is brought to you by us because we're the ones doing the stream. Um, in case you didn't know what game we're playing, we're currently on um, uh, currently on Tetris. It's like a bit of Tetris championship. And uh, yeah, this so we're just gonna sit tight while things get figured out. All right, so it is understood that uh, there was a mistake on my part. I left the lobby to timed instead of um, actual race. So that's been fixed now. We're ready to get back on the way um, for the outlap. The grid order should still be set as normal and everything should be going well there. So, boost myself in commentating this race already run through our grid once. Once everyone's readied up. Ready to race around Suzuka. A couple of notices have been put out for Suzuka. Um, primarily in regards to 130R and uh, Degna 1 and 2. Uh, De for, for those of you who don't know which corners are that, Degna 1 and 2 are the double right-handers before the left-hander airpin. Airpin, hairpin, sorry. Uh, and 130R is the long left-hander at the back of the straight going into the Cassio Triangle, uh, which is the last chicane. So, we're just waiting for Jagger to ready up now. Um, the notice is there. Uh, we're not going to ban places from overtaking, but any incident that occurs in those uh, in Degna 1 and 2 and 130R uh, will result in a penalty for the car attempting the overtake uh, as those are very risky places and it will be up to them to make sure that the overtake can be completed cleanly uh. yes <sighs> clean is good you don't want to get your car dirty because then you're dirty and no one wants to be dirty uh. wise words of wisdom but Okay, so we're just waiting for everyone to ready up. Um, Oz was still a little bit concerned that it's also time-based, but for those of you who don't know, uh, the way it works is that the scoring type is time-based, and the best lap times is off, so what that means is that the actual time it takes to complete the race is what's being measured. Uh, so, yeah. That's what we need. Uh, it will be measuring uh, time taken to complete the race. And we have our grid order set. We're going to get a look at it real We're quick going. before we end up going. TOS Extreme, LCM Langalot, Aerofrin, AMS GG Racing, Beast Shadows, LCM Too Quick, SSR Honey Badger, MNR Hunter, LCM Norbert, GJ Newton, LCM Oz, LCM Foxhound, 40 Bread, 37880, Jacket at SGT, NKRT Nemesis, MNR Ace, myself commentating, Boost, this is the LCM 100, 5, 4, oh my. 3, 2, 1, we are transitioning to the racetrack. Points for speed there, Butler. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> Points well, you for don't speed. Wanna... <laughs> you don't want to be keeping them too long there, you know? Uh, I have a very fast... U.S. Extreme. L.S.E.M. So Hello, doing, and welcome to the, the old-timey radio. Oh, wait, I got you. This is... Hello, everybody. This is uh, LSM Boost. We're going to be commentating the National Golf Tournament of 2019. I am your host, uh, 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 ASMR guy. And I'm um, just going to be watching these race cars. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so as we look around now, we see, oh, uh, we see LSM lag a lot. 
Viewers of Extreme. Uh, at the front, going through the answers now on the outlap. Airframe behind. And some really nice deliveries going on here. Welcome to the yeah, Light Out. Uh, light Out. Uh, the GT3 is going around now. The TOS Extreme. The Jaguar, the Porsche. Seeming to be cars of faith today. Some cars that can run well. And we're back to where we were before. Yeah! Alright! Alright. Man, we got ourselves some. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm ex it's gonna be a fun race. It's gonna be a fun 29 laps. And to, my to voice quote, is gonna be botched by the end of it. To quote, to quote a man that I admire very greatly. That's hot! That's real hot! <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> That's, that's your man's <laughs> right here. Oh, man, it's gonna be a fun one. And it's also, gonna be great. I'd like to get permission to rename the the triangle thingies, whatever the, their name's supposed to be, to staircases, because they look like staircases to me, not triangles. As long as you can keep permission it to Casio rename. staircase. Permission granted. <laughs> gotcha! Casio staircases! Ca Buy them for $9.99 at your local Walmart. <laughs> it's a Casio crazy today at the LCM 100 as we're in the back straight yep. for the, uh, yeah, sure the ma imaginary pit still on the right side there. The, one of the shortest pits in the game. You literally go in, stop, come out, and you're done within about 10 seconds. Uh, of course, we're not using that today. We're using the actual GP circuit, the one used for Formula One, the one used for everything else. As far as I'm aware, except the ones that use the other tracks, which is how that kind of stuff works. If you're not using this one, you're using something else. Uh, this track has been used for the Le Mans Esports Series as a standard for Fuji, as we don't have Fuji going side in by side. the race. They're going side by going side, side now, by pulling side. up too wide, going to the start finish line. Like a lot. Team if Street, you're watching this, the historic start. If you're watching this Ooh. anywhere in the world, get your cocoa. Get your alcohol, you're gonna need something to calm that nerve Listen, as we man. go. If to you're watching this, put on Eurobeat. You won't regret it. You just put it on in the background. It'll make the experience ten Three, times better, but two, whatever we're one. going. We're live season one round two, the LC one hundred. Lagalot having a bad start there. Aerofrin managing to get around the outside, but slowing it behind TOS Extreme. The GG Racing, Lagalot too wide through there. Shuka taking the move up now. And we're going to have uh, Lagalot right behind GG Racing, going on board with GG Racing now, who's right in that battle there. Uh, he's managing to pull up a little bit. Lagalot maybe getting a little bit off the road there. And we're having. Uh, who's that? That's uh, Beast Shadows now. Making the pass Lagalot for the S's. Lagalot and Beast are going circles. Oh my god, I'm so little bit. There's three wide going out of the back there! There's content! Someone's off the track! Someone's off the track! Who's, Who's that? that? Let's try and find out. Uh, I think it was it. I couldn't tell. Too quick. I, I was a, Too oh, quick. Oh no. Having issues once again at the start of the race. Last week it was MNR race. This week. Uh, that caused it was that caused the issue this week. It's LCM too quick. Who once again has issues. Don't know who caused that. We'll be saving the race replay. We'll be making sure that we can review that, as that shouldn't be happening for the S's. Uh, it's going to be his job now. Catch back up through the pack. Recovery drive. Maybe going for the undercut early on to get some clear places. But we're going back up to the front of the field now. Back up with shadows and lag a lot. GG racing lag a falling a little bit off now. Uh, but we have Aerofriend in Suez Extreme. It's going to be up to Wagawa, our number two place that are down three positions at the start of this race to find that pace, make the passes, and try and get back up to TUS Extreme, who is currently on eight championship points. He has to finish uh, nine championship points now, sorry, uh, as he has to pass the slap. He needs to finish in first place. GG Racing needs to finish below third place for him to take the championship title going into the final round. Lagalot only needs to get into second place to contend with that. If he can get first place, though, and if uh, Extreme ends up getting the fastest lap, or if Lagalot gets the fastest lap.
Oh. Something amazing is happening. What's going on? I th I thought Fox had an over to go side by side into turn one, but then Fox had backed out of it, so I'm let down. Oh man, but we're gonna any look. Having a look at Norbert now, who's one of our our better drivers, one of our really good drivers, constantly finishing in up the top of um the. He is a person on our team. Rounds. He is a person on our team. He wasn't able to make last week's race. Maybe he runs a little bit wide there. Fox sounds right Fox back. Fox out now. his bum. He's spinning He's ass real in. close. He's right behind that M3 of Norbert there. <laughs> team over BMW are back M3. Wow. He's got an angry pack of five cylinders. Also is going for oh, a pass. So you can look up the Oz on the passer, maybe bumping, uh, maybe uh, there was a little bit of contact between I him and Foxhound going Fox. out of that. I don't think there's any damage to be seen there. If there oh. was, then the safety car hasn't been called. Uh, Blood pressure is currently look. 140. Ace, look it up the inside of Norbert, but then Norbert says, No, thank you, sir. As they now hit back onto the mighty back straight away. Yes. We're gonna, yes. We're gonna jump up, though, a little bit. Uh, we have Amos GG Racing right on the bumper of Aerofin. He's looking for the pass up the inside of Cassio Triangle. A little bit of bump. He's sitting and running outside, but Aerofin's gonna get the, the uh, better line into the second corner. And he's gonna hold it, but the Bentley's gonna have to straight, straight line speed. And GG's Racing trying to get the inside line going into the first corners. Historically, the best I dare line. you, GG. GG, I dare you. Do he's it. He's going for it. Do it. No. What just happened? Oh, Aaron's wide. He's up. Aaron's wide. Gigi Racing up in the second place, and now Aaron's getting position in there. Oh. Aaron slotted in behind Gigi <laughs> Racing now, though. He's back up to where he was, not losing too many positions. Right back behind. Lag a lot at the end of this train. Too much extreme taking the opportunity to get away from the pack a little bit. He's already put down a two-minute one point six. Are you kidding me? Oh my, it's already the fastest me. lap. That he's put down, he's qualifying. Down, but Hunters on Honey Badger's butt right now into the Dag. The, the, the Dagnus? The Dagnus. The, the righty boys. The righty boy. Alright. Oh, and he's still gonna make a pass now. Maybe. He's right on the bumper. Maybe. He's gonna be looking into the oh, inside of the next inside. corner. He's gone for it. The he's Honey Badger it was back look. there, and uh, right back Whoa, in where he was before. He sets it through there. I wasn't ready for that. You're on board with the LSEM. <laughs> <laughs> You're on board with the LSEM 100 today. SSR Honey Badger in sixth. Hunter looking forward to seventh, and Noonan just behind in eighth. Having a lot of good Whoa. stuff going on now. <laughs> this pack from six to uh, to eight here. We have a pack from. Seconds down to fifth. B Shadow gets in front of everything going through there. Sorry to cut you off about lag a lot. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna stay in this battle now. It's oh, another contact. Oh, I think lag out of it. I think lag a lot. What's Aerith? They he pulled over though. Yeah, he, the redress there was there. a pull over though. The redress there from uh. I'll see him lag a lot, but what that means now, we need to look if there was damage on Aerofrin. No damage. Any damage on lag a lot? Uh, that will mean a safety car. No damage on lag a lot. No safety car called. But what that means now is that Aerofrin lag a lot. Two of the fastest drivers in qualifying lag a lot. Second position, only one or two tenths behind Tios Extreme, has made the fall from second to eighth. And it's going to be having to make one hell of a recovery drive to try and regain his championship standing. He's going to have to make it up the fourth or fifth in order to maintain his position and try and keep his points moving in forward into the third rounds. But once again, we're going back. We've seen this before, haven't we? We've gone back to the Silverstone <laughs> round. Like a vu. <laughs> <laughs> We've been in this place before, hiding on the streets. Streets and we have the time to go. <laughs> Calling out Lagalot now, who is back 
in eighth position. We've seen this happen in the LCM 100 preseason round at Silverstone. We're going to see if he can make the recovery drive happen. He's got drives ahead that uh, quick as well, so he's going to have to try and make it up to, I think, about fourth position, third position before we'll be, he'll be able to manage, barring a safety car call, uh, which is always a very real possibility, um, especially with some of the stuff that happened last week. It should have been an eventuality, but alas, it was not. I just space out for a second. What's going on? What game am I on? Oh. <laughs> We're right. going up right. to yes, so Aerofran, who's right behind Newton. Uh, maybe Newton running Aerofran. a little bit wide there. Newton goes a bit wide. And Aerofran gets by. So did lag a lot. So did lag a lot. The They're looking forward now to Aerofran. 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 Aerofran is on LCM, so these two might be working together here to make the decisions that they've gotten off of each other. Um, we did have a incident between the two. We have our first driver in the pits also. Who would that be? We have MNR Hunter that in the is, pits. Uh, we have Jagged... Hunter. Did he go off? I thought I saw him off the track for a second. Uh, it would seem not. Uh, no damage on him. But we have... It looks like there's two dots very... Oh, no, I thought I saw a lapping dot. Well, we, we have Beast Shadows right behind... I'm just looking right at 30 seconds. We have Beast Shadows right or, behind but it's GG there. Racing now. Um, keep, keeping an eye on Aerofrin and Lagolot as they make their way back up the pack. Only Honey Badger that they have to pass, so that will yep. probably happen fairly soon. But... Did someone these off? These two cars... Norbert's... Did his thing drop down, or am I just crazy? I'm making terrible calls right now. Don't listen. <laughs> well, I think Norbert's dropped down a little bit, but we have Too Quick in front of him now. Uh, too Quick getting pushed off at the start of the race. So, making that recovery drive happen as well. Uh, we're going to go back to the mid pack now with Norbert and Too Quick. Oh, pardon me. Um, Roger the that. lap of the race so far. Clean is 201.7. So, and that's US Extreme. So he's looking at regaining the championship lead going into this uh, this far. But we'll see if that can materialize, barring a lag out of some variety. Uh, yeah, hopefully no I one hope uh, does a lag on black, The black screen. Lag you know? Ah, hope. Content. Hoping oh, we okay. didn't lose anyone. Uh, but we did. Maybe we did. Who did we lose? Um, we lost Aerofren. Aerofren? We lost Aerofren. Yeah, he's being a... Oh, what happened there? That's a real shame. Probably a lag out going on there. Um, lag a lot stuck into the pits yeah. now. Um, so he's gonna be trying Just to get some open air. Just talking about lagging a lot. Yeah. I might have jinxed that's a, there. That's the commentator's curse right there. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Going on board with, um, who are we going on board with? Going on board with Too Quick. He's looking forward to MNR Ace, who started off with a free position grip penalty in the last position. Uh, Too Quick and Ace, last week is where we saw the, uh, the incident between them resulting in the position penalty. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens here, whether Ace is going to be more, uh, not respectful. Uh, I think just more considerate and, um, thoughtful in his moves. But Jaguar in an M3 sandwich right now. <laughs> Should be yep. to watch. Brought to you by Beamer. But, uh, yeah. Faith, I guess you could say this is Too Quick's chance at a salty run back after the last week's situation. I don't think we'll not be seeing any of that, though. So, not, not so. I don't know how to describe. Overtake the <laughs> other guy. Yes. Uh, Overtake you. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Alright, that's better. <sighs> Sorry, but, um, I've had yeah. about six hours of sleep, so I'm a tiny bit tired. But This race um, is brought to you by yawning. Yes, yawning. Something that people do when they are tired. Uh, it's theorized yep. actually that yawning is a uh, defense mechanism of some sort. Back to the which fun is facts. Which earlier. is why. Exactly. Why it, it's contagious? Um, you see, see somebody else yawning. You better yawn, because otherwise you might die. Apparently. Uh, I'd be yawning now. 
You've cursed me. And we're gonna jump on board with some of the guys further down the field once they get some battles going on. But for now, this is a battle to watch. Or maybe, actually, we're gonna go up to second and third position. GG Racing and... Uh, oh, they're close! Beast Shadows, they're quite close. Uh, really close! Both sporting a variety of grayscale and lime. Uh, GG Racing mm -hmm. is being a bit more lime and more black. This one being a bit more green and more gray. But both cars... Battle of the color choices. Leverage. Who's gonna win? Yeah. Oh, say he's, about that. he's got off a Ooh. little bit. He's lost some ground. And he's put cones all over the track. <laughs> there we go. An additional race modifier just been put out by Beast Shadows there. Brilliant move. You know it's the Mario part. Cup. Um, Mario Cup bananas. Yeah, it's the bananas. Laid on the track. It's the ba so look. Things are going bananas in here. Man. So we look at uh, LSM. It's going to lag a lot. Looking forward to m and Hunter now. Uh, faster pace and qualifying. Dropping down 10 positions in the race so far. Um, although that was due to, I think, some pit strategy pit? involvement there. Uh, so yeah. I think he's sitting about 5th, 6th, or 5th right now. Uh, and Hunter, of course, being the position that he wants to regain and reclaim. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-h
those reds of low actually can make you drunk. Um, did I say those breads of loaf? I'm noting that. <laughs> breads of loaf. Breads of loaf. Hunts up right on the back of 40 bread. Trying to get a bite of that loaf going around the outside. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. As we go into the Dagnus. The Dagnus. Oh. Oh. Sideways. Hunts going to get pushed wide. Michael's going to get back through. Ace is going to get through. Dagnus is going to get back through. Ace is going to get through. Racing incident. Quite a bit of contact during this race. Holy moly. What happened? Yes. I think I think Brett sim twitched. I think I saw a sim twitch there. It looked like it was getting squirrely and then. It wasn't so much of a sim twitch as ball. Hunter tapped the rear quarter panel of 40 Brett, um, which kind of put his car out of position. Uh, uh. And then trying to regain the car, 40 Brett accidentally bumped Hunter off, it seems. Um, Mm. Oh. oh man. So Tio's extreme. Oh yeah. How about he's that uh, guy he's up here. Front. He's he's just chilling in the first place, you know. He's trying to make the championship drive points come in and it's uh supposed to be working for him so far as we're about a third of the way through this race now. Uh, just a little bit over. Another so. guy. That's Saw Honey Badger in the pits right now. Currently driving out in the pits. And that's uh, all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lag a lot real quick. We wanna try and, I mean, not yeah. quick, we've been on him for a bit, but I wanna try and figure out what kind of lap time he's doing and seeing if he can get back up to. Uh, Looks like he's gonna be on Honey Badger's uh, rear end going into the yeah. SEs. That incident cost him a bit of time there, but he's going to be looking to make the move on SSR Honey Badger. Uh, I think I'm not sure. Definitely off. looking. This is the battle. <laughs> sure, battle is this. Uh, the battle for seventh, I guess, right now. I don't think the people in front have pitted yet, though. Um, oh, honey, Badger. honey Badger! Get sideways! He's going <laughs> into the dirt! <laughs> oh. Did a formula drift back there. Uh, action there. <laughs> and uh, the recovery drive is going pretty well for Lagalot like so far. Um, GG Race is putting that nearly two minute flats. Uh, Lagalot like really? of open air now. Uh, yeah, he put kind of two minutes two point one last last lap. But I think extre it's extreme is just pulling away quite a bit. Quite a bit, quite a bit. I uh, should have had a coffee this morning. Now. Oh, so you yeah. said two minute so, flats, not two minute ones. Oh. Apologies. <sighs> this race is brought to you by my cup of Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. I wish I had some right now. Uh, Do the deal. And, and we have, Do let's see, we have... Norbert in the pits now as well as Extreme, so we want to see when Norbert comes out in relation to... Oh, he's not in the pits. Who's out in the pits? Too Who quick. Who is that? That too quick in the... We're going to see where he comes out in relation but to lag a lot. I want to see. I'm finna see if Extreme didn't catch up to Norby. Oh, lag a lot. To here. We're going to come out in front of Ace. Oh. What's going on back here? Uh, cold tires. Maybe wasn't quick a little bit of an issue. Go it's quick, trying. but his tires are too cold. They need blankets in order to go faster. But Ace is right <laughs> on his bum. This is going through the S's. These two, the drivers to watch. For, uh, maybe a little bit. What's it? There's contact. Ace is a little, a little bit of a push there to try and get on the inside. But Quick is going to stay Whoa. in front of him, looking to the deck. Too this. Quick ain't having some of that. Got to look out for an incident here as both of them take a tight line by accident, I presume. Uh, cross across. It's going to let Honey Badger good. catch up behind. Oh, wow. This That's a little battle going, going on, on now. Here. 
is uh not two drivers that are very close are gj newton and oz they're quite close together but that's besides the point is it though is it so i thought i point something out uh is it i don't know what battle to look at though um i think we're yeah, gonna look at things going looking at too quick for a while because uh the other battle oz is behind oz is in the car doesn't have the straight line speed so you know what yeah. reality he probably won't be able to make a move until the s's um too quick another pulling on ace a little bit in the straight there it. yeah it was <laughs> It's a good, <laughs> no, good little uh, <laughs> put there. We have uh, anyways this pack of three cars here. Yep, uh, yep, yep. Yeah. Looks like Ace is a good one. Trying so to find some pace. Somebody's in the pits. Catch up to too quick and finish uh, the race. Who's in the pits? I'm not sure. Lord, uh, I I can't. Who's, can't. Wait, those funky fresh arms. Somebody in the pit? No, or no. Or was they not? No. I'm in Norbit. No, no one's in the pit. Norbit? It was Norbit. Oh. Not showing up it's on Norbit. my screen anymore. Oh, wait. Oh, he's out. He's out of the pit. But he was in the pits. Oh, I think. Gotcha. And Butler letting on a big stretch there. Yes, in the different person. I'm Myself all over person. the place tonight. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, but... That's right, extreme. These are cars. Before we lost extreme. These are cars. Oh. This is a racetrack in They're Japan driving. called Suzuka. Oh, the the LCM 100. Ace. <laughs> End up going to the back with too quick. He's going to wait up, though. Good man. He's going to wait up, though. And now Hunt and too quick are side by side. Oh, oh and another. So that just happened, ladies and gentlemen. He's uh, MNR Ace and uh, Too Quick, seeming to uh, not be able to keep off of each other in these races. If you're this just in, I'm hearing a lawsuit. I'm, I'm oh. hearing some lawsuits going on right now. And uh, that's no. the first that pack there, which gives us the opportunity. And the reason to go to LCM Oz and uh, Newton, who's not made their first round of pits yet, I don't think. Oh, Oz, are you looking up the inside? He does the dive! Oh, that was a <laughs> mighty dive there by Oz! Gets in front of GJ Newton just like that! You mad lad! Mad lad! And uh, we have Oz. Mad lad. That's hot! That's real hot! <laughs> we have, uh, we have Oz now going into the second corner of the track. Uh, he's gonna be able to maintain that position through here as the TT has a better ability to grip than the M6. Uh, yep. Oz being one they of the wheel that, drivers uh... of this championship, alongside Foxhound and Big Man. Who he's really week. trying hard to represent all wheel drivers. Now, when he says all-wheel drivers, do you mean drivers that drive all-wheel drive or drivers that drive wheel? Racing. It was supposed to be a wheel, <laughs> man. I'm looking into it. How dare you? Know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this just then, uh, LCM Boost dies after a coughing fit induced by his co-commentator. This race brought to you by Advil, which I need. And we have Ace As right up on the back of Newton driving. now. Uh, -huh. uh, I'm not sure where he... How did he get back over here? <laughs> yeah, well, what's going on? Wait, where's two quick? Oh, two kicks further behind. Yeah. Uh... Uh... I Going back to the situation out there, but they both pulled up, but they were both stopped for a while. I know Ace was stopped for a good bit, but then afterwards he just kind of drove, drove off afterwards. I don't know if maybe there was some 
talking between the two and then the party chat and whatnot, just for the days to go on or what. But, um, yeah, in other news, there is a centipede on my counter, and I'm not having that, so if you'll excuse me. Habam! The centipede is no more. And, uh, All right, we'll go back to the highlight reel. <laughs> Yes. Step of the centipede. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a funeral service afterwards to pay respects to centipede. His name was Bill, but um, uh, he just got billed. Old cod term for trick shotty boys. But anyways, Ace on the back of Newton, looking to get past. Will he be able to do it? Let's find out as we watch. I've kind of taken over, but like, yeah, I have a spot back. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'm letting you, I'm letting you talk. I'm letting you talk. And Newton, no, he's, right, he's, he's like, nah, I'll be back to you. Ace is like, back to you. He's gonna Ooh. get through. Ace makes the pass. Hey, stop trying to steal my energy, you butt. No, but. Oh, he's going to hide. He went in deep there. He goes off. He's going still. Okay, I thought something might come from that. I got overhyped for no reason. This race wood. brought to you by too much energy. Getting with the MR pump that it has disconnected from the race. Uh, oh, yeah. DC yep. issue. Um, um, joining us. No, you. Not joining us. Uh, oh. Party inviting. Uh. Invite only, unfortunately. Oh, uh, I thought that's what I just saw. He, 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 he uh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> He's fun to comment, co commentate with. Might get him in for uh, some uh, technical data, but I. He gets crowded with more than a few people. Uh, mm. So, uh, we might call him in a bit later. But other than that, in a bit later. But I think that's pretty much Hunter's championship hopes sealed off. Man. Hopefully he'll still race just for some good times. You know? Yeah, I'm not even sure if he'll be able to make the, uh... I'm not sure if he'll be able to make the spa round, as I know he's doing something else. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, Australia Day weekend. That's it. Day that we all like to go out, look at fireworks, and get drunk. As we go back to Australia. Too Quick now, he's on the... Yeah. Yeah. As we go back to Too Quick now in Newton, uh, speaking of Australian days, it's a day that the Australians have been going at it with each other. Ace and Newton... Sorry, Ace and Too Quick both hailing from the Newton Open State. Newton the track again at the same spot! <laughs> Catching the tournament! You don't let go fast! Oh, man. Woo. I don't know. Newton may be getting, losing his mojo a little bit. Uh, he's made a couple of mistakes which have really cost him. Seems as like we go the back, heat is really getting on him in this endurance as go, race. As we go forward now to MNR Ace, who is uh, looking to LSEM Oz. Uh, we'll see if he can make a clean pass here. Uh, it's probably already going to be copying a three place grip penalty. Maybe for the next next race uh, with that incident with Newton. Sorry, not Newton. I keep saying Newton. It was too quick. Um, but that'll be a stewards review, and we'll find yeah. out what happens then. But uh, in the meantime, MNR Ace looking at LCMI saying, "Hey, I want you." To be behind me because I want to overtake you. Yeah. And I don't uh, know what I was going to do. Oh, you people with dirty minds. Don't be, dirty. don't be saying that. Oh. Just, just, just yeah. because I was, uh, Ace wants I was behind him doesn't mean that anything's going on there. Uh, well, it's <laughs> it's a race. There's people in <laughs> front. And behind and further behind, <laughs> not everything has to be the dirty thought. Anyways, I nearly exited out spectate. That would have been bad. 
as the, the field's spreading out a little bit again. We have Stream pulling one hell of a lead. Uh, lag a lot now is uh, oh, punished Honey Badger a while back. And he's pushing up, trying to catch up the Beast Shadows. He's got 12 laps to do it. Might be able to, but so far, the fastest lap of the race has been a 2 minute 1.5. That's a real fast slap there. Sure is. As Ace is trying to catch Oz, he's managed a good job of hanging on with him through the handling sectors, which is where the TT would excel. So we'll be looking to see if Oz can hold him off down the straights into 130R. Mm -hmm. uh, Looks like Ace got a better entry there right on the back. Of Aussie boy, as they now go on to the straight away with about 60 feet or whatever meters between them. Yeah, yeah, just three tenths of a second separating these two drivers as they go into 130R. Ace might be looking for a move in the Cassio Triangle, the same move that Oz made on Newton, uh, but we'll see if that materializes. No, Oz goes for the inside, he has it. They are very close now. Ace most likely going to be start. able to get the run going into the first corner. That'll be an interesting one to yep. watch. Yep, you gotta watch what happens, what's gonna happen. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Ooh. As this battle between noise. Oz and Ace has let too quick catch back up, Ooh. Ace is looking Looking for the move on the inside for the S's. Jeez. Maybe a ill-advised move with, uh, with Oz having the better handling car. It's probably best off just trying to maximize his pace through the sector and ca uh, catch him in the straights. Can't be, uh, can't fall back too much though, because he does have an angry jag. About 140 yeah. feet away or so. It's the Jaguar of LCM too quick. Is now sitting behind yep. MNR Ace, uh, looking. Ace is in the runoff area here. there. Uh, too quick is looking just behind. Uh, you might have to. Looking for the cup back. There's so. Oh, Ace gets it on Oz. Um, and now, too quick. He's looking in on the inside of Ace. What's he gonna do? Too quick goes up. That makes two. Quick, that one's seventh. Ace, Ace in eighth, and uh, Oz in ninth. A bit of a tongue twister there. Going out to the back straight. Indeed. And uh. And uh. Yeah. Yeah. This race brought you by awkward silence for about a few moments, but uh. Was that plus 100% clean there? That Ace got I don't... buzzed? I th no. It might have... No. Uh... Baiting the blue flag call. There's no, no blue flag, but it will be a time penalty for this race, especially if these guys are this close together. Uh... Mm -hmm. Well... Sorry for silence. Value. I'm just, I'm just using my brain. <laughs> it's a hard thing. I'm trying I know. to compute. Uh, what's going on? Oh, too quick. Back corner there. Ace is on his butt once again. Exiting the sneaky boys. Going into the, the going to the Dagners. Going into the Daniels right now. Dan Daniels. Catching the grass a little bit there. Going through the Daniels. Too quick, still up front. I was just behind the two of them. And, uh, As they go into the hairpin left now, uh, to the corner before Spoon. Too quick and Ace really pushing Oz, uh, trying to keep up. Uh, maybe not having the raw pace in the Audi TV to do it. Uh, going for a strategy aimed towards Spa and taking as many points as he can there. Oz, sorry, too quick, and Ace now going to spoon one. 
sorry, just spoon. There's only one spoon corner. It's a double corner, but it's called spoon. Uh, <laughs> this race brought to you by Spoon Sports. Honda. Uh, this this uh, this race is also brought to you by the Binding of Isaac. Uh, Binding of Bender, Isaac. Oh, I love the that best. game. <laughs> I Binding love Isaac, that game. Bender, Binding of Isaac, Binding the best best item. <laughs> but also. I was gonna say before is that with uh, the exit I was got there at the hairpin is that you know the TT is a pretty is a strong car in the rest of the track but in that in that hairpin you know with the front wheel drive traction you know it's a little more difficult to get a better run out there than let's say a real wheel drive car. And <laughs> three cars in the pits got some merging. They just went through each other. Um, yeah, so we have... But, hmm? this battle has been going on for a while now, uh, between Ace and T-Quick, and we're gonna... Look around the field, run for our grid order to get a bit of a power cleanser. First place, we have TUS Extreme in the Jaguar, all by himself now, pushing hard. Uh, maybe looking for the easy win, uh, but definitely ha having Big to Royale. contend. His main contender for today in terms of qualifying, uh, Lagalot had a lot of issues uh, in the first couple laps of the race, and he's made his way back up the fourth. He's realistically only going to be able to look at third place, though, with eight laps left. Um, but yeah, we go back to second now. AMS GG Racing uh, raced the winner In for the last Bentley. week. Yeah, he's far enough ahead. Um, it's going to be tight. So GG Racing is sitting on, on 11 points. Um, with TS Extreme sitting on eight. Uh, going into the, the round, he's already gained one point on GG Racing. Uh, for the fastest lap in qualifying, so he's on nine now. If he finishes here, he'll gain another point for uh, the track position, and if he maintains the fastest lap of the race, he'll gain that point also. As Gigi goes off, uh, Ooh. maybe pushing himself a little bit hard to try and catch up to Extreme, but if Gigi finishes second and Extreme finishes first with the fastest lap, then we'll be seeing a tied race going into round three at Spa, the Series really? finale. Really? Tied? Tied indeed. And we go back to third place now. Beast Shadows joining us from the EU lobby. Mm-hmm. Done a really Doing good job so far well. today. Yeah. Uh, pushing as just, hard as he can. He's just been hanging out in third place. Definitely but lag a lot. Great job of driving. Definitely him. pulling the pace on him, being our second fastest driver in terms of lap times today, um, having yeah. a start there in the electric blue LCM Porsche 911 RSR. Look for him to be challenging for third position going forward into the last race, laps of the race. Uh, Norbert in fifth place. Mm -hmm. Getting kind of in a little area of his own at the moment. Doing Definitely, a nice uh, steady job. Yeah, fifth position is nothing shabby as he goes into the pits now. We'll see where he comes out in relation to mm -hmm. Too Quick and Ace, etc., etc. SSR Honey Badger in sixth place. Uh, in the Jaguar. Oh, in no man's land. Might be coming out the around land. the time Norbert comes out of the pits. Too Quick back in seventh, having those incidents with Ace where uh, Ace made some aggressive moves once again. Uh, yeah. We have. MNR, Ace and Eighth. We have LCM, Oz in Ninth Oz in the RTT. 
We have Newton in 10th. 40 bread in 11th in the beautiful blue and orange uh, Bentley. I wonder who painted that? He loved painted, that no Bentley. Right? He painted. He he painted. That. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, is that why you're mentioning it so much, you silly goose? You silly have, goose. <laughs> we have Foxhound in 12 in his uh, alien TT. I want no. Uh, he painted that. Uh, <laughs> we already said that out. <laughs> we, we have NKRG Nemesis in 13th uh, in the Bentley and a last minute entry and we have Jagged. UST another at last minute entry in the Chevy C7R just ahead of the battle between two quick and ace now which we're gonna go back to yep there's also just while you guys are watching that um I'm a watch the battle between SR Honey Badger and Norber who are quite close now and I'll give you updates on that awesome thank you as this back marker here uh Jagged is gonna be causing a bit of drama maybe uh Two quicks gonna have to try and make the pass on Jagged. Uh, and Jagged's actually gonna let them pass. Let two of them be inside. Good. Yes. Good boy 9000. Good boy 9000. But we have here the other race that could have been, should have been, uh, last week. Didn't end up happening. Two quick and ace, right around the same pace, making sure that they can get to the end of the race. Um, oh, those bars! <laughs> so, yeah, I got to. In West Philadelphia, born in. Hey. So, we got uh, a little bit of honey badger up ahead. We have ace and two quick, and we have uh, a battle looking to materialize. For uh, third place, as uh, GG Racing and Extreme have now gone into the pits. Uh, Shadows are looking to stay out. We need some pressure tires within the end of race. It looks like a lag a lot has also gone into the pits. So we'll see where lag a lot comes out in relation to them. We're gonna go on board with Norbert now. Oh, actually, no. Ace running a bit wide. He's gonna be looking oh. to run move, but he doesn't get anywhere really. Uh, it's still side. Not side to side, back to back, even. Uh, yep, yet again. Ace maybe backing off a little bit. Yeah, really and close to each other. Really are. And we have uh, Norbit and Honey Badger up. We're gonna ride on board with them for a little bit. They're side by side! Norbert got on! there and then honey badger's gonna have the acceleration because jag <laughs> so we see two battles playing out pretty much identically right now uh too quick yeah in the man. jaguar honey badger in the jaguar ace in the bmw m3 norbit in the m3 looking up the Ooh. inside he's gonna pull out of that one looking. and we have the drivers <laughs> bmw versus jaguar two times over you see where these two end up spitting each other out. Yep, the British the car first. versus the English car, just like the war all over again. Norbert going up the inside! He freaking sent it through there, but he went a little bit too far in there. Honey Bad's gonna get the cut back. Norbert, you absolute mad lad. You <laughs> absolute mad lad. Guess and, what? Uh, guess Ace does the same thing! <laughs> As they're now side by side, going up to the start finish, but too quick yet again gets up front. Oh, these two, they're like married couples, they're exactly alike. I don't know why I made the married couple analogy there, <laughs> but we're rolling with it. This is the Alice M100. Round, wait, we, round one, week two, plus three. <laughs> Minus four is quick math, is we have... <laughs> <laughs> series 1, round 2, LSEM 100 at Suzuka GP oh, in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking LSEM <LLC and> boost. <laughs> we
as Ace is right up on the buffer. Uh, looking at a deck net to, to get the run to the head, and he might have it. Uh, he might make a move up the inside. Is he yeah, gonna go for so. it? No. He's gonna no, look for he... run heading into Spoon. I think he's got the yeah. better line through the corner. But, but yet again, got a Dragon's acceleration. It's, it's just too quick. Definitely. Just like the name of the driver. <laughs> Coincidence? And I we think have not. We have Beast in. in I'm gonna go and pull the Beast Shadows. Where's he? The pits. Side by side with Future oh. Racing, just behind. Michael's still a fair ways back. Oh, they're real close to each other right now. I'm actually gonna take this minute just to look at Beast Shadows. Uh, tire wear? Oh, he's, yeah, he's out he's of fresh just hair. Out of GG pits. Racing is just. Oh! LSCM boost with the epic calls this race. I'm on <laughs> fire right now. <laughs> okay. So now we got three little pairs of intenseness going on here. It's indeed. It's real juicy. Like a nice T bone stick. As going ah, to turn. T bones are overrated. Ace today. I think that the uh the Scotch bone is, bone. The, is better. To bone. I don't um, know steak names, so I'm just going steak. with the juicy one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a steak <laughs> now. <laughs> just been yeah. transformed on the floor. So we're going back fun. to Ace. Uh, as yep. one of the S's. Two quick runs wide. Two quick runs up! That's going to mean Ace gets the pass through the Degnus. No contact awesome. there. Well. Push himself a little hard. And that's gonna be oh, the, the conclusion of that battle. Oz gets through to two. Two's gonna be looking at past Oz again. Uh we have to take a look where he actually ends up finishing with the the, the stewards review time penalty that will happen. After the race, uh, Ace now mm. 10 seconds ahead. Sorry, six seconds ahead and seven seconds ahead of Oz and Tuka, respectively. Uh, going to Norbert and Honey Badger now. Yep, this is what I'm watching right now. Real close, going to have to start finish straight away. The LSCM and SSR battle. Just like the good old days. Looks like whoever's really trying to get a draft. As he follows Sunbad going into turn one. Getting real close there. Exiting out. Going into the snaky boy section. And uh, I get I stole your thunder. I'm, I keep on doing this. If I if, I'm gonna iterate this to you now, <laughs> Boost. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm letting you talk. If I wanna talk. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so towards the dang the daggers. I can never pronounce that. <laughs> Daniels. Going in now. Oh we're pushing up. Real Getting a bit honey badger. Honey badger. Do you think Norm's gonna send it up the inside? I don't think oh. very well do. No. He's looking to get the run out of the hairpin, though. But yet again, I've said like 15,000 times, a freaking chance acceleration! <laughs> Just... It, this is the current battle to watch for, the, I think, the remainder of the race as uh, GG Racing and uh, Beast Shadows are spread out a little bit now. And it's not yep. enough time to let Lagalot back up third place, I don't think. So we're going to be spending most of the race left now with Norbit and Honey Badger. Yep. Now going into Lotus 130R. Whoa, Norbit always got a little sideways there, but it's fine. He, he, he holds it. Going into the Casio staircases. 
<laughs> Stair steps. Yep. Going out onto the start finish straight away. This here follows, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Another, another yawn coming up from me, sorry. <laughs> Good tired. And we're on lap He's 27 tired. out of 29. The LSC M100. I've said that about seven times today. I'm gonna slowly stop saying it as the race starts to draw to a conclusion. Yeah, so I'm gonna start saying it and said, This is the out. No. Just kidding. This I is Forza! This is this, Rocket League! This is Tetris! This is a competitive <laughs> Tetris championship! I am your host, Billy Mays, here with the Oxygen detergent bottle. Norbert and Honey Badger going into the Doritos yet again. Real. Looks like there's a bit of distance between them. I think yeah, we had Norbert. So I was, uh, towards. Norbert touched the grass there in the middle of that. Um, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have two people ahead of Oz. No, we have two people behind Oz still. I'm going to jump back to that battle. And yep, they're driving. As a reminder, the goal today's race is still preliminary, um, as there will be some review going on uh, throughout the week. The two weeks, oh, actually, yeah. as next week will be the 24 hours of Daytona. Gonna, the driver's going to race for 24 day. hours straight. Dude, and right up in the back of oh, I was backing off of that one a little bit. Getting on the brakes a bit late, going to spoon one. Looking for the undercut, going to spoon two. And also, you said Newton there, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Too quick. Are you doing it? Looking, looking to catch up to Oz. That might, that mighty Jaguar acceleration coming in again. Oh, he's got a bit. He's going to back off a little bit there, going to 130 yard. Good man. Doesn't want to get into any trouble here, but he has fallen back quite a bit from that. But he's going to catch right up again, going into the Castillo Dorito. Going through the staircases and going out to the start finish straight. <laughs> <laughs> my, I'm and... mixing up my names now. <laughs> <laughs> and too quick and, uh, and Oz now. Both vendors of LSCM. Both good drivers. Both having some tussles today. And both looking to maximize their pace and their points going into the next race of the season. TS Extreme has pulled a 20 second lead over AMS GG Racing. GG Racing I've just in behind or ahead now, sorry, of Beast Shadows. Yeah, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to jinx, but I think Extreme might have this one. Unless a catastrophic incident happens, like I was talking about, where his engine explodes, but I don't think that's going to happen. You know, that, that nice, nice reliability of the Jaguar. Indeed. As two quick and Oz go through the Casio staircase. <laughs> <laughs> As they come out of Dagna 2 for the, uh, un under the figure of Dagnus. 8 bridge. Yep. Uh, too quick looking for the run Dude. out of the hairpin corner. Might be able to he get it. He gets the run out of there. Oh, too quick. He got to win it to the sand pit. No. Just not his race today. Oh, no. He's had, Man. He's had a couple of different issues. Some incidents with Ace where it seemed to be the fault of Ace, but that will be reviewed. Uh, there will be. We review as much as we can, but um, looks like that battle's been broken up now. So, in terms of battles, I think all that's left is really only Badger and Norbert. But, anyways, we're going on to the last lap, people. Last lap, flash that up there. We're on lap 29 of 29, and mile 100 will be at the end of this lap. Yep, yep. And, uh, yeah, so as the race wraps up here, go up to the positions. I'm going to do it now because I feel like it. Yeah. So we have in first place, TWS Extreme. Second place, AMIGG Racing. Third place, B Shadows. Fourth place, LSEM Sir Lag a lot. Fifth place, SSR Honey Badger. Sixth place, LSEM Norbert. 
followed by MNR Ace, followed by LeSam Odds, followed by LCM2, quick, followed by JG Newton. That's his gamer tag <laughs> now. Followed by LCM Fox 111, 40 Bread, 37880 in 12th, and Nikurt Nemesis in 13th, and Jagged SGT in 14th. And yeah, those those are positions as. 2S Extreme going out to the start finish, and he's gonna cross the line in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and now his race is done. We have mile 100 of the LSEM 100. Get ready for the loud noises, because they've just started. <laughs> oh, loud noises? I got you with loud noises. No. No. I'll finish in grid order for today as they cross the line. TOS Extreme in first place. And AMS GG racing in second place. And mm -hmm. as far as I'm aware, Extreme has managed to pass the lap of the race. Which means it'll be a tied, tied uh, leaderboard heading into the next race. B Shadows yep, yep. has finished in third place. Good performance from him. Lag a lot in fourth. Uh, Michael's actually gonna pop. Michael actually got past B Shadows um, after the race finished, so I'm guessing mm. B Shadows slid himself out or something like that. <laughs> uh, Michael's no, actually in fourth place. The is that much better. Uh, Honey Badger in fifth. fifth. Norbert in sixth. Huh? MNR Ace in seventh. I'll see him Oz in eighth. Oz. Two quick and nine. Quick and nine. Newton in 10th, uh, Foxhound in 11th, 40 Bread in 12th, 13th place is NKRT Nemesis, 14th place is Jagged GST, and we are going to ride along with him as he finishes the last lap of the LCM 100. What a crazy race it's been to the man. Really has hasn't some it? intense stuff going on. And, uh, some cunt, some bumps, some uh, some shingos, but you know, that's just racing. This Happy. that's that. This is pod racing. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a uh, jacket now coming through Degma too. With the uh, the old man racing livery, uh, old man racing, pretty nice livery. Yes, got a nice, got some nice costumes going on here. Well, with the number twenty. Yeah. Yep. It's indeed a number on the number line. I can confirm this being an eight and calculus. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sound clip that I think. Because that sounded like a Formula One car going down the back um, with that Audi TT. <laughs> yeah. <You> hear that? <laughs> I hear it. That sounded. That sounds good. I like that. Yeah. Little D12 uh, Formula One racing. This is nice. Uh. So as he comes through the Casio Triangle. That will be the conclusion of today's LSEM 100 race. Pretty good one, wasn't it? And uh, we're now going to pull some on. drivers in for interviews. This thing is on. It's on okay, lead. my controller died. Very, <laughs> very spectacularly right when it mattered. That's, but yeah, that, that's a shame. So we're gonna try pulling in TUS Extreme for a post-race interview, uh, and along with some other drivers. What the fuck though? Some gibberish coming out there. Uh, we are joined but though, but though. by. 
GUS Extreme, connecting the potty extreme, you had a really Yo. great race today. Uh, race finishing today. off in first yeah. place, pulling quite a gap to second and third. Um, I don't know what to say. This Jag was much better than I thought to be around this track. It surprised me. Uh, I annoyed myself because I set a couple of uh, 201 flats in that race, which was a bit annoying. Mm. <laughs> but but oh, I man. noticed there was good, some good battles going on, some clean drivers out there today. Uh, a few people pulled out the side when they saw us coming past, so I was pretty pleased with that. But it's been a great race today. And yeah, you and managed to managed pull off fastest lap in qualifying, fastest lap in the race, and P1 earning you 12 points today. 12 points today. Did you racing? Did you racing? Is now tied with you. Now tied with you. <coughs> well, I needed it after last week. Obviously, <laughs> the dilemmas of a uh, lobby situation, but that's no one's fault. I said I needed to win. Get both yeah. podium. Yeah. I've worked hard to make sure. But next week's going to be a different story. It's at Spa. So all these cars that are out there that are designed for quick cornering speeds. So I'm going to struggle a little bit, I think. So let's see yeah, what next week brings. Yeah, it's it's going to be a battle you know. between you, be you battle and. Uh, and uh, GG racing so you can better get the best track position, but also trying to <laughs> block off people like, off people uh, I think like, Lagalot is an Xbox defender. Yeah, Lagalot, I was, I, I was, I was surprised, like, he stepped off the pace, I don't know what happened, did he get, did he get involved in an incident? Yeah, he had, he had some yeah, incidents had, at, the start, incident at the start, uh, uh, and uh, he ended up dropping down to, I think, <coughs> in ninth position, but he's, he made it back to fourth he's position and another five laps or so, he probably wouldn't be able to make it back up to third. Yeah, that's really good of him. Like he was the one that I was most worried about today because obviously I saw him in practice. He was running low two oh ones, and I was like, "Oh, see so we go." <laughs> like a lot's gonna run off of it. <laughs> yeah. He took on a good driver there, guys. He took on a good driver. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 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 sorry, T was extreme here. Uh, thanks for joining us for the interview. You're very welcome. You, know, you pushed that thanks jack to the extreme. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, but um, yeah. But um, I... So, guys, thank you for. Oh, cut them off their backs and a bit early. <laughs> um, we're gonna try and get that slag so lot tough. in, and then we'll be pulling in um, too quick and ace for a quick post race interview. And so, yeah. Waiting for the connecting button. There we go. Elysium lag a lot joining us now. Lag a lot. <sighs> Having some complications at the start there and making another remarkable recovery drive. Just shy of the podium once again. How, how, how would you... Uh, how, did, how, how, how did your race go? <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> um, it's kind of a disappointing race, actually. I'm quite disappointed in myself. I just wasn't racing the way I should have been. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Roger. But you, you're not going to be too far behind. You have GG Racing and uh, Extreme, who are both tied for first position now um, in the standings. But you might arguably have the better car going into the next week. and Oh, sorry, the weekend after, because we're having the one-week break for the day 2024. Uh... If my math is right, you should be sitting on about 16 points. Uh, so, <sighs> sorry, 17 points. 16, 17. One of those two. What's your strategy going to be heading into the Series 1 finale? Um, I'm definitely focused on qualifying. You need good position around Spa. Mm -hmm. And then probably have a really weird strategy going around Spa because I just want to put myself in clean air. Yeah, definitely. It's... Yeah. Especially, hopefully, oh. I do race a lot better next week. I'm not yeah. happy with myself this week. Mm -hmm. you know, don't try not to be too hard on yourself, though. You did a real good job out there, man. You know? You, you I think got otherwise. quite a few positions. I know things go quite... <laughs> The way you wanted to, but I hope for the best for, for next week. All right, all right, all right. Thanks, buddy. man. Thanks, man. All right, yeah, that's no LCM. Man. 
lag a lot joining us there for the interview. Uh, we're going to have now... Uh, we're going to pull Too Quick and MNR Ace in. Um, maybe at the same time. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, and we'll get their opinions on what happened today. Uh, a couple of incidents along the road. Definitely have to have a look at what happened uh, lap one in the 100 between Too Quick and Ace. Or, I don't think, sorry, I don't think that one was Ace because there was a lot of grid differences in position. Um, yeah. Um, trying to pull in those other drivers. We're going to run through our, our finishing order real quick. Once again, we have TS Extreme in first place. Uh, Geo, GG, Geo, G, sorry. AMS GG Racing in second place. Fee Shadows in third place. Lagalot in fourth. Honey Badger in fifth. Norbert in sixth. Ace in seventh. Oz in eighth. Too Quick in ninth. Newton in tenth. Boxhound in eleventh. Forty Bread in twelfth. Uh, Nemesis thirteenth. And Jagged in fourteenth with Hunter and Aerofriend. Not finishing the race. Uh, thank you for the follow, White Frigger. It's always great to have more viewers for the race. And we, I don't know, that might conclude our broadcast for today if we can't get more drivers in. So, thank you so much, everyone, for watching and attending the LCM 100. Uh, I've been Kian Butler, LCM The Butler, and we, uh, I was here too. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was reading a message. Um, I'm Kian Butler. <laughs> LSEM the Butler. Um, I've been joined today by uh, LSEM Boost, and we thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Sanity can hold, maybe compromise Norbert a little bit in the corners here. He can do that as he tries to go around the outside, save himself on the inside, but he, he pulls back a little bit. And if he can hold a two wide going into the first corner of the race.